Hello. Welcome to Uncut Jewels. I'm Kristen Jewell. Hopefully you've been here before, but if you haven't, we're really excited that you're here now. We are um, having, we're going to have an amazing guest today. I'm so excited for her. Actually, my first time getting to like sit with her was a few minutes ago, face to face. We've been working together for a little, a minute now, but um, hadn't had the chance to talk with her. So I'll be bringing her on in a second. But before that, I wanted to say two things. One is today's the last day to register to vote. And we really, really, really cannot underscore how important these next you know, a few weeks are going to be and on the date of the election, it's obviously incredibly important that we have everyone come out and represent. And if you can't come out, you should be voting by mail. There's so many different ways to do this. So there's absolutely no excuse, no excuse for you not to have your voice heard. So go make sure you're registered today. Today is it. So please take a moment, rock the vote. Very easy. Check it out. There's government websites. You can I, pretty much if you open up any app today, they're going to be like, have you registered to vote? I think Instagram does it too. So just click, I don't know, check and verify. Because even if you think you have, it's probably a good idea just to make sure you're good. Um, so then, then the second thing I wanted to say is obviously we're doing these on Tuesday nights. I might or might not do a show on election night just because I'm not sure if we're like how that's going to go down. So we'll see. But that's November. We've got to get through October 1st. So now next week, we're going to have Lindsay Compton come on, who you might remember, we released a single with her last year. And she's going to talk a little bit about what's going on with her. So but today, we're going to have a really great show for you. We're so excited. You're going to introduce a multidimensional musician and a holistic entrepreneur, Latasha, with an accent on the A. Latasha, hi. hi. What's up? Welcome. How are you, how's it going? Welcome. What's up, guys? Really good. Really good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling yeah. good. I just registered you the vote. Good. Yeah, and, girl. You no, know, I'm about to <laughs> awesome. do what I got to do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm thinking I'm going to do a mail in vote just to make sure I, I'm curious about the tracking system. So I'm excited to see how that comes oh out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. This system is all kind of crazy. So I'm just hoping that everything works out smoothly so we could get oh, you yeah. know, the right oh, decision yeah. in the building. Oh, so that's it. I totally, I get you completely. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um, I wanted to, so I wanted to share with our, with our watchers, our listeners, whatever format you're listening to, if you've at all, heard or watched the self-made CJ Walker, Madame CJ Walker story. I mean, everybody probably has watched that because I think that was like the timing of that was impeccable because no one could leave their house. When, when <laughs> it, it, was. Came out. it was like, you're going to have to watch this. So I pretty much, I think everybody in the planet must have seen it at some point because that had your song in it, mm -hmm. Who I Am, in the end credits. And I was right before we got on, we were doing a little group thing, trying to figure out where the Shazams are with that. That had seven, <laughs> let me see if I, 74,228, 74,000 Shazams on that song. I mean, I know that happens for a lot of people, but we know that that was an impactful song. So I'm so grateful that you made the time to come and sit with us today. And I'm so happy that we got to do that. Yeah. And congratulations on all of that. Thank so, you. Obviously, we've got a lot to go over, and I know we have we have a time limit, so we're going to try and adhere to that today. So how is everything going so far? I mean, I know it's been like the craziest of years, but how are yeah. you doing? I just wanted to like... Oh, thank you. you good? Thank you for asking. I'm good. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, spiritually, I feel really in tune with myself. I feel like I'm just doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. And yeah. honestly, despite COVID being insane... Um, I feel like this year has been really good for me in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's been up and down, but my spirit has learned so much out of it. So I'm really grateful and just excited for the next year to come. Yeah, it's been, I mean, it's really been remarkable watching you. I mean, you've had two singles released this year, mm -hmm. which means you've had two videos. And as far <laughs> as I know, I think you've had five syncs so far. We might have a <laughs> sixth one coming. So, I mean... Kind yeah. of a landmark year for you. Yeah. Yeah. How's yeah. Feel? It, it feels great. Um, 
I mean, the sync thing is so insane because I just gained so many different fans out of it. And people from all walks of the world are hitting me up like, I love who I am or I love Go Go Wine. And, <laughs> and that's why I do this for them. So yeah. I'm just so yeah. grateful that, you know, it's just resonating. That's what I've always yeah. wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen you've had, so you're not from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I know we're all in Los Angeles, but you're from the East Coast. You're from New York, right? Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of your fans have been coming around being super supportive, which <laughs> means you must have done a really good job while you were there. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been here? Uh, a year and a half now. So oh, wow. yeah, I literally came super. in. Yeah, I'm I'm like a baby to LA, but um, I've I've been here a few times just working, and then I was like, you know what, it's time to go. I need to see a change of scenery, and I lived in New York my whole life, so it was like, all right, let's go to and move to LA and see what this is all about. Yeah, that's great. So, um, what kind of talk to us about that process? Like, so how did like has your sound evolved? Have mm -hmm. you been working? Like, I mean, like you want to talk a little bit about what's been going on since you've been here? Yeah, we met through the Sugaru stuff, which has been mm -hmm. remarkable for you. Yeah, definitely. So when I moved here and when was that? I want to say June 2019. I moved okay. here and I moved here with my partner and my two best friends. And we decided we wanted to start a company together called Lighthouse Media. And it was going to be like production and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. I start, we started that. And then I started getting into music with Sugaru. Um, my sound definitely evolved working with Sugaru. Um, but it also just has been evolving just working with all types of people I've been working with here. Yeah. Um, and, and it's something that I've wanted already. Like I started out as a hip hop artist, but now I'm kind of expanding my sound into electronic music and house music and dance music. And I just want to be a worldwide thing. You know, I just want to be a worldwide mm -hmm. artist. So I want to make worldwide sound. And um, that's what's been happening. And then... So mm -hmm. oh. Keep oh, I was just gonna say, maybe along those lines, are there artists that you grew up like looking up to that you sort of, of want to talk like, I mean, are you emulating in any way, like not that you are <laughs> derivative, but you know what I mean? Like, are there people that inspired you? Oh, of course. I have tons of people who inspired me. Um, Missy Elliott, of course, is like my mm. biggest heart. Mm. Um, I just adore her so much. I also love M.I.A., who is like, mm. I, I'm a huge fan of M.I.A. I, I'm actually in her Paper Planes music video. I was <laughs> one of the girls dancing in her music video. Uh, when I, that was when I was in college and I was wilding out. Um, so <laughs> that was, that um, she's always been in my heart. I'm also like just a huge fan of like Little Kim, Rihanna, um, of course, Beyonce is the mother of all, right? Mm -hmm. So Beyonce. And then I also love women like Patti Smith. And I mm -hmm. just love like just weird like music that everybody's not really listening to. Um, I love like ESG, who's like one of my favorite bands. And mm -hmm. there's just like, I just love everything. So um, I'm influenced okay. by all types of sound, but um, my heart is always with hip hop. Um, I can't mm -hmm. leave it no matter what. I always am like, I'm leaving this whole thing, but I just can't <laughs> leave it alone. I just love it. Can't quit you. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I find my first the first vinyl I ever bought was nine one one is a joke. I still have it. It's oh, really? actually like, yeah, oh yeah, it's a long time ago. Uh, but I'm friends with Keith Shockley now, so I'm like super psyched because I'm like, oh, that's you, crazy. You did this. Yeah, I love him. I love them. Mind blowing to think like what your how your musical influence. I mean, David Bowie was like my big thing growing up, but like somehow hip hop just. When it got in, it got in, and I and it, yeah. never, it never went away for me. You know, although I will say, I don't know how you feel about current hip hop, but it's tough. I think it's tougher. That's why I'm so enchanted with what you're doing because it's mm -hmm. not quite. You know, and it's not like I can understand. I know that's going to age me right here, but like, <laughs> there's something about like mumble rap, right, or mumble trap, or any of those things. I'm like, ah, oh, like I like lyrics. I love. Like, don't get I don't me know wrong. About that. 
I love trap music. I love mumble raps too. Like I love all of that stuff. I just genuinely can't do it because I yeah. didn't grow up with it and it wouldn't be authentic. Yeah. So like right. I yeah. I yeah. grew up listening to like Biggie and like Nas and Jay-Z and those people always had lyrics, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So and like DMX mm-hmm. and all of these cats. So that's mm-hmm. like where all my oh, yeah. energy and fuel comes from in my bars, but you know, I still love all that stuff too. I can't lie; like, I'll, I'll dance to Twenty One Savage and all those cats too. That's oh yeah, my- I mean, I <laughs> totally get it. I totally get it. I think there was something about the charm, and this maybe is where you guys go. But like, um, and I, I guess it does happen to a certain extent. But like, if you think of the Rough Riders, I always think they're like the perfect example um, of like, you know, they brought. I mean, everybody touched them at one point, mm-hmm. and Swiss Beats Beats. I mean, he's still doing that stuff, and mm-hmm. and everything they they kind of just all went off and they were all in the same sink. You know what I mean? Like they knew what they were building as a crew. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I was, I love that time in music. I just absolutely loved it. Me too. It was amazing. It's definitely, it's a part of my heart. Those times, like, you know, I Mm. still listen to those songs till this day and they still influence me till this day. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm with you. Well, we'll have to have another night about that. Okay, so one funny thing I need to talk about. So, you know, obviously we do a lot of research and we've clearly been working with you for a couple of weeks, a couple of months now. Um, months, but yeah. The one, yeah, there's a, there's a thing on your website that says, <laughs> wait, let me, let me quote you. Uh, love, <laughs> love to, and you have to go to our website to, to see this yourself, but it's love to all except white delusionist and the patriarchy. <laughs> Maybe you could talk a little bit about that for us. Well, I mean, we know the times we're in right now. So um, I'm I'm big on Black advocacy and just speaking on Black Lives Matter. And, yeah. you know, I'm an African-American studies major. So this is like my whole pie. Um, Damn. And I've been working on this, like, working on empowering and bringing empowerment to people of color, but also just bringing empowerment in general is what I believe in. That's why I make music too. Um, But I just really am upset with a lot of things that are happening in the world, especially to black people. And so, you know, and I'm, I still see <laughs> like white supremacy being a thing in United mm. States, right? So I decided, mm. I didn't decide this. Actually, one of my homies, Zier, was like, we got to stop calling it white supremacy. We got to start calling it white delusion. So <laughs> that's what we're calling it now. So it's white mm. delusion. Um, that's good. And, and then um, as for the patriarchy, I'm always here to shut down the patriarchy <laughs> because... <laughs> You know what time it is, right? Um, And I think we're just in a shift. We're in a shift in the world where Mm -hmm. all of that theory and idea of what we need to be has to be done with. We're in a whole new time. The the feminist is taking over and, you know, I mean, it's time for Black people to be in the forefront as well. And so- Yeah, Mm -hmm. and so I'm here just doing my job and saying what I love it. (laughs) Yeah, you're doing a great job. We're really we're all we're all fans of everyone. Sugar, Bill Concept, we love you. I know I love you guys too, and I just appreciate you guys um, being allies to the work. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of anti that in the industry as well, and so it's important to have people that are by your side when you're talking about mm-hmm. transforming the planet. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a bigger conversation. And and I think that they'll fall by the wayside. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm of a certain age and I've definitely watched people come and go and I'm yeah. hoping, you know, in the next five years, I think we're going to have, we'll have this down better. I'm going to give yeah. us five years. We better because <laughs> yeah. apparently, I don't know if you saw that, but there's a doomsday clock in New York I have right not. now. <laughs> Oh my God. And we only got seven years left, so we got to get things right. We got to get things right. <laughs> seven years, huh? Okay, so seven I'm giving years. us five, and then in the next two, we'll do just everything hedonistic. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit, whatever. It'll be fine. We'll be good. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your music. I know we've had too much fun already. Um, so you have, like I said, you've had two huge, I mean, you've had two songs that have resulted in massive amounts of syncs for you, which is great. Mm-hmm. And I know there's more coming at the end of the year we can't even talk about. Yeah. But um, let's talk about the writing of them, the creation of those two mm-hmm. songs. Maybe can we start with 
can we start with the first single? Yeah, sure. If you want to walk us through. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So, it's, so yeah. The first single was Who I Am. And mm -hmm. then Who I Am, I actually worked on that record with Jim Bianco at Sugar Roo. Um, mm -hmm. Came into the studio and he was like, we need like an empowerment song, um, something like that. And I was like, word, let's work on this. He he was actually the one who said, I want something with who I am. And so mm. we started working on that chorus together. And then yeah. he left. The, I usually kick everyone out the studio when I'm working on things. So yeah. kicked them out of the studio and just started writing um, the record. And um, Who I Am is just amazing. I love that record so much. Um, it's it's a huge record. It's big on Paramount. Oh, look, commercials are coming up. Yeah, I, I know, it. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but well, actually, okay, sorry. So we're bringing up the video just so you can hear, you can know yeah. what's going on. So she did this incredible video for Who I Am as yeah. well. Yeah. Was, that was all you. Yes, yeah. So me and the Lighthouse Media team, we worked on um, Who I Am music video. Um, we heard the song and we have media. I have originally wanted a car like situation but we couldn't do a car because it was getting too crazy well we did a car but it wasn't like the race car thing that i wanted but you know dreams don't mm. work out always how you do mm -hmm. but but this this was done during covid right your the music right video? before covid oh, right okay. right before this one was mm. right before covid so we were okay That's to right. go outside thank god um yeah. but this one this one was tough too because we just didn't have a lot of resources yet. We just moved here. We were just figuring out where to go, where to shoot. So mm -hmm. like me and the team, like we scouted around LA and figured out places that we could go. And then my boyfriend is the director of Who I Am and Go Go Wine, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just, Lighthouse and I just sat down and we all just like creative direct. We kept throwing ideas on the board and this is what the vision came out to be. Um, and I just love this video and it gets oh, so it. many, it gets so much yeah. love from people too. So yeah. yeah. It's been great. Like, okay, let's talk about this braid. That was so fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, amazing. So many it's funny because so many people are doing that now. I've been seeing it like in so many videos and I'm like, oh snap, look like that's crazy. But um, <laughs> the braid and is actually, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. The no, braid go ahead. is actually influenced by one of my friends who's an artist. I posted her on my Instagram. She did this really a beautiful installation in 14th street where girls were braiding each other's hair and they were like long locks, oh, like going wow. through 14th street. So um, shout out to Jasmine Levine. She's amazing. Um, please check her out on my Instagram. So she was oh. the one who actually inspired me to do that. Um, but you had right. a question. I did. I wanted to ask you about the symbolism, the symbolic uh, component for the faces, the mask of roses and mm -hmm. like all the different. I love that imagery. Yeah, I, I a lot of people ask me about that. Honestly, that came out as an idea that I've been writing out about people being flowers or gardens. Um, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, a play off of like, we're all gardens in ourselves and stuff. So mm -hmm. eventually the mask is gonna form into something more, but um, mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't wanna give that away yet. So- um, Okay, no, that's, yeah. great. So that's great. I really like enjoyed this, that. Yeah, I love, I love the mask and I actually made all the masks myself. So I'm like thinking mm -hmm. if that's mm -hmm. gonna be a merch item in the future. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I think it's great. I mean, if only we could celebrate Halloween even, that would I be know. like one of those, you could make killing off of that. I know, <laughs> right? Great. I'm thinking That's about amazing. actually making like face masks that we use with just flowers oh, on yeah, it. With so. the flowers on it. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I like yeah. that. I really like that. I like the fact that it's so... There's something about you that's this like dichotomy of like the maybe the edgier things okay. and then the more like you know, softer stuff too. Like yeah. that, but like, it's just a balance to it. It's great. That's cool. That makes me happy. Cause I, I feel like, you know, that's what I want to give. I, I feel like there's so much edge in like softness and there's like, yeah. you know, there's so much mm -hmm. to that. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's cool to be both gentle. Yeah. I mean, you, it, you really are, you're pulling it off. So I like that balance <laughs> too. So, and then the next video I know, so, Okay, so basically, so who I am comes out, 
And as it comes out, it goes into the CJ Walker story. And then yes. it's just like, whoa, what just happened? The whole mm -hmm. world shuts down. Uh -huh. We're all oh. watching <laughs> Netflix or whatever. And we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. It skyrockets. You know, it's already doing really well to begin with. So again, if you haven't heard the song, go and listen to it. Add it to your playlist. <laughs> yes, Have a good time it. with it. Share it with your friends. Yes. And check the video out too. But then on the heels of that, we find out, oh, there's this other song. It's amazing too. <laughs> called Go Go Wine. Talk yes. to us about this one. So Go Go Wine is like my ode to all the women that I've been in my life and the women that I've seen. It's a Caribbean like dance hall, hip hop, mm. electronic record. Um, I'm partially I'm I'm Caribbean and Latina. So like this record is like my whole world pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. And also produced by Jim Bianco. Um, mm -hmm. I love this record so much. It has a lot of influences to like Vibes Cartel. I don't know if you know who Vibes Cartel oh, yeah. is, but like <laughs> Vibes Cartel has this record called Go Go Wine as well. So it was influenced mm -hmm. by that. Um, and like, just like old reggae songs that I used to listen to mm -hmm. when I was a kid. But, mm -hmm. um, the writing is really, a, again, about like empowering yourself, but also just knowing who you are and knowing your worth. Um, oh. And then we have these beautiful characters in the video. Um, we actually- I love this. We shot it during COVID too. So this okay. was hard. This one was the yeah. one that was like, oh my God, what are we about to do? Because when I first <laughs> had Go Go Wine and before COVID, I was like, we had all these ideas for the video and then COVID hit and we were like, damn, we can't do any of this. So <laughs> we gutted out our garage and shot the music video in the garage. You guys could still see some of the materials in that. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so we gutted out the garage and then I decided that I wanted to just play all these characters. Um, like the first character that you meet is Miss Latasha, who's like, I call her my everyday bruja and she's kind of like your, your psychic fortune teller, but she also helps you with success. And then the later mm. characters, the red character is like my only fans character. That's what I've been calling her. <laughs> and she's like this sexy, like, you know, about my bread woman. And then, um, okay. And then there's the dance hall queen character is this one right here. I love her. Oh, she's um, amazing. Yeah. Uh, I think I did I tell you I have that same body change. <laughs> That's dope. Yes, I love oh, that yeah. piece. I that love the awesome. body change. Yeah. I have like so many, but that one is the hardiest. Like yeah, it it's, and, sturdy. Yeah, it's, it's sturdy. sturdy. It's very sturdy. Yeah. Sturdy. I was like so yeah. happy I could dance with it because there was so much yeah. that I couldn't. I was like, you know, you can't do a lot when it comes to body chains. But then I have yeah. all these like different characters in the video and um, well, they just all symbolize different things. Let's, let's talk about the psychic shoddy. So, okay, <laughs> actually, before we do that. So, okay, so this video is mind blowing. I mean, I can't believe you did this in COVID because <laughs> just the lighting alone and who, I mean, the styling, the outfit, that that sequin backless thing. Like, yeah. is that in your wardrobe? Is that in your no, closet? <laughs> I found everything. I literally like, we were digging, I mean, like I did all the styling myself. I did all my makeup. I did everything in the crib. This is all in house. So amazing. We, I amazing. did the makeup and the styling, the creative direction. Jamel did the directing, and then mm -hmm. um, Angel Darmella. She did the performance. She really helped me with my performances, and then T did oh, the photography. Cool. So we all worked together on it. But um, this one was mm. a tough one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, "How are we gonna make pull this off?" But we did, yeah. and That's I mean, great. it was hard. We lost like a whole yeah. lens. It went into the LA River while we were shooting. Oh, I remember that. <gasps> That's right. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, actually, right when we were shooting this shot with the red, this is on the LA River, and like our lens fell into oh. <laughs> into the water. It was so <gasps> sad. But we Aww. made it work, um, and we and you know oh, yeah. things, things worked out for the best. And I yeah. just adore this video, and um, I'm happy great. it's on woke, and it's on um, yeah, the song is on woke on Hulu and Netflix trinkets. So trinkets, yeah, yeah, I'm looking yeah. at the thing. Yeah, trinkets. so <laughs> that's but I know that too. There'll be another one at the end of the year, I'm sure. So mm -hmm. we're psyched for that. Um, mm -hmm. I, the psychic shot. So basically, we recently watched your behind the scenes, the making of that video, mm -hmm. which again is so entertaining. 
just, Thank you. just like, it's like, it takes on a whole other life uh, of its you. own as you're talking and stuff. It was great. And I, we were all like, oh, who's this psychic shoddy? So and I thought it was so... <laughs> Thought it was so interesting that you also had so much love from the cosmic playlists on mm -hmm. Spotify. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, psychic shorty, and, <laughs> and like, you're on like you're on my sign. You're on Taurus. I was so psyched. I was oh, like, that's so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love so, like, that. My boyfriend's a Taurus, oh so I have a big heart for Tauruses. Oh yeah. I mean, we keep it real and we keep yes. it down. Like we that are like true. I'm of the. Yeah. My other artist is one that I, Jessica, she's, she did my sign like the year before last. And she's like, you're not only is your moon and your sun and everything, but like every single ass, like rising sign, everything's in, of like uh, the earth. Oh, really? <laughs> so you're like an earth. Yeah. That's great. That's good. I'm, earth, I'm, like, I'm double earth too. So I know exactly what you're uh, saying. I'm like apparently five, like ascending moon, wow. sun, and whatever it is. Yeah. It's all of them are in there. I was like, oh That's God, crazy. I guess. I don't really understand the whole fishes and I, yeah, those people confuse me, but yeah, it's just like, <laughs> I don't get, I get them. I love them, but like, I could never date them. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, that's not I true. I think it. I was married to Aquarius or a Pisces. I think I was married to a Pisces. Ah, anyway, crazy. Yeah. That says a lot right there. Um, but okay. So talk to us about true light and so, I'm oh, sorry, Wait, light work. So true. Oh, before mm. then, you said something about the cosmic oh. playlist, right? Yeah, the cosmic playlist. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, so much to cover off. With I you. know, right. I know. It's so crazy. Um, <laughs> I know my life is yes. like ah. But um, the cosmic playlists are actually Shani Nicholas playlists, who mm. is like, oh, I adore her. Um, I actually before meeting her, moving here. Um, met, uh, I mean, not even, I didn't even meet her, but I was doing her work. She has like workshops that she does every oh, year okay. on like astrology and things like that. So I was doing her workshops before even meeting her, before she put my music on. And then she found my music and started putting it on her playlist. So it was like really amazing. manifesting by That's itself. Amazing. And now we're like, cool. Like she hits me up and I hit her up and it's so cool. Wow. Um, and she just gives so much love. So shout out to Danny, like she's the best. Yeah, but shout, shout yeah, out. She's yeah. Check out those playlists; they're always really fire too. She has me on Taurus playlists and a few other ones too. And I think yeah. who I am is on another one too. So yeah, it's like mm -hmm. Leo and something else. Leo and another yeah, one. yeah, the Leo I mean, one. Both songs. I know. I was like so like I thought we yeah the cover art everything about it. I remember seeing a billboard, like a, the wall art with it. Uh -huh. and I was like, that is so smart. I mean, it's like sometimes Spotify actually does a really good job with their branding. You're yeah, like, oh. they do. They really do. I can't lie. Only they the paid us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> only if they How did. I feel. Only if they like, did the other you part. Did other thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Spotify. They're amazing, but you know, it's hard. It's a hard one. It's a, it's, and this is the game, right? The new world, the new game world that we have, the gamification of music. I always yes, say. Yes. Yes. And thing. that is why, um, I move, I'm moving into this new direction with my company Lightwork because I mm -hmm. just felt like Great. it was time. Yeah. Time yeah. to, yeah. So talk, do you want to talk about it? Because we're so psyched. I mean, I, okay, wait, before you say because I, I also wanted to say, so I saw your, you hit 10,000, so you're oh. 5,000 away from your goal. So you, she's doing a fundraiser yes. and it is impressive. I think, when did you start this? Like a week ago? Oh man, like 10 maybe days? two weeks ago, maybe almost okay. now, two weeks Not ago. Not quite. Yeah, yeah, just about two weeks ago. Um, And yeah, I... I literally did it because I had a breakdown one night and I was like, I'm so sick of how the industry treats artists and I want to share more and expand more, but I just feel like so like closed in with just the music industry. And I just had, you know, I do a lot of spiritual work. So I was like, I just had a like, I had to release something. And um, all I kept finding was like, you need to do a fundraiser and a campaign for this company that you've been thinking about for years. And I've been thinking mm. about light work for about 10 years now. Um, I had a spiritual awakening in 2012. And I know people hear that spiritual awakening thing and they're like, ah, foo foo. But I, <laughs> I like legit, like went through like a whole transformation, I would like to say. Um, and it made me really get into like quantum physics and manifestation and all that kind of work. Um, mm -hmm. 
but more focused on like how African people do it because a lot of that work is out there, but it's not always pr promoted how like right. my people do it. So I, I started studying that and um, I realized like it has a lot to do with creativity and a lot to do with being an artist. And so I started putting, oh, like, and I started putting just feelers out on like doing manifestation work and doing things like that. And people were really recept like receptive to it. They're like, yeah, we would love to hear you talk about that stuff. So finally started this campaign for the fundraiser. Um, the membership platform is actually gonna have like an expose of my journey and like things that I do, but it's also gonna have like workshops on manifesting, workshops on like healing from your story, workshops on mm -hmm. like, you know, getting to know your your inner child and things of that nature. So it's gonna be like wellness, but it's also gonna be like some practical things in there as an artist. So I'm gonna talk about sync and I'm gonna talk about like my stories with sync and my stories with like working with labels and things of that nature mm -hmm. too. So I'm gonna put mm. it all together and make it this world for my fans. Cause a lot of my That's fans great. are creators too. So it's just time that. to share with them. Yeah. I always say it's like a, it's a community, right? But mm -hmm. we, we use the hashtag, um, it takes a village a lot because yeah. I feel like, you know, you, you, you know, you, you can't, you think you're alone, but if you're alone, you're an, I might, I, I did a lot of like cognitive behavioral therapy at one point to uh -huh. undo the crazy that is my life. And <laughs> I always, yeah. you know, you're like, you're an island, but if you know what you think is a good thing, oh, an island sounds great. But like, really when a water goes over you, you're just washed away. Literally. So the whole point is, bring people together and then you all have each other's back. So exactly. and that's actually, I was telling you before, what we did with Uncut Jewels was mm -hmm. supposed to be about building the community. Like this mm -hmm. is my way of saying, shine that light. Like what are people doing? It's, it doesn't have to be where you perform for us. Yeah. It's that you tell us what you're doing. How are you bringing people together? What's exactly. it like now? You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm so glad you're doing this as a Membership thing, I think it's interesting because it. I have a background in membership marketing and subscription-based mm -hmm. marketing, and it is a really hard thing to get. But once you get them, if you do your job well and you're giving yeah. them content that they want, they just they stay, and then exactly. they are even more connected with you. So exactly. it's a beautiful thing. Thank so you this so membership, much. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course. So this membership is going to be classes, spiritual classes, mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. talk a little bit more like, like, will you do cooking or is it going to be like, <laughs> maybe one you know day. What I mean? like, are there parameters? Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. Maybe we'll get into the cooking life. Cause I do love to cook, but I think it's going to be more so like how to build an altar or how to like build okay. like, you know, manif mess manifesting work for yourself. Um, how to know right. what you truly desire, things like that. Um, okay. And it's gonna be more sit down and I talk to you and we do workshops like that. I also have some one-on-ones coming up for my fans too. So like, if you're really with the work and you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can. But um, I have I grew up doing spiritual work. So it's like, this is second nature to me, I feel like. That's and awesome. for a long time, I've been trying to hide it and not tell, talk about it, but like we're 2020 and a lot of things are happening right yeah. now. Yeah. And I think yeah. like, okay, I think it might be time to start opening up this portal of me to help a lot yeah. of people, you know? So um, that's what it's gonna be. We're if, if not now, you'll never do it because exactly. this is the time, you know, exactly. there's something about after this happened, I sat on these brand calls because I still stay, try to stay connected in the brand world mm -hmm. from 25 years in advertising. And the first thing, every all the leaderships, and I mean, top of the top of the top, yeah. they were talking about empathy and mm -hmm. understanding and like listening exercises and things they had never had to do before because everyone, their whole life just changed. Right. And there were people who, who were like, you think you're, it was such a level setter like this. I know this is crazy to say, but like COVID doesn't care if you have money or not. It doesn't, <laughs> exactly. they don't, it doesn't care. You're it like, the, you're just a vessel. So like people were taken down a notch Literally. and they had to figure out like, how am I going to, how am I going to do this? You know? So right. I, now is the time to be vulnerable, to be exactly. honest. It's the thing that in it, it brings people to you more exactly. because they feel safe. You know, it's yeah. really just a safety. And that's, I'm glad that you're doing it. 
that's been my work for a long time. A lot of my music before Who I Am and Go Go Wine was like about my story, about like growing up in Brooklyn and all the things that I've gone through. And, you know, I, I don't talk about it much, but I lost somebody when I was very young who was a rapper. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like that transformed my whole being. And mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of my life has been manifesting after that. You know, I've been yeah. just creating this identity and I feel like we're all manifestors. I feel like we're all creating our identities as we go subconsciously, unconsciously, consciously, all ways, right? But yeah. I want to help people to see how they're doing that and to see how they yeah. can use that towards their like greatest self because yeah. right now we need greater selves in the world <laughs> more than yeah, we do. So, well, and also, you know, you're, you, you know, we, we all have something that we can help to influence and guide. Right. And so right. when I do something as a person of a certain age, you know, it's, it's not easy to do what I do. Right. Because people are like, get a job or be, you know, like what, put, put the, <laughs> do the box. You know what I mean? So I think at some point you have to, you have to, by doing you, you inspire people. Right. Exactly. Like in your own, in your own camp. So it's exactly. just really important to be organic and real about it. So yeah. um, I know, I know that I know you have a, oh yeah, look at you. I be manifesting. I <laughs> yeah. I have my first That's workshop great. Saturday. I'm so hype about this workshop. Um, oh, good. And we already have like a lot of registrations. It's kind of insane. Um, but we're still taking more people if you want to register. So please register. It's free. The right. workshop's totally free. And I'm just mm -hmm. going to be like opening up about like ways I've manifested my life. And, um, you know, I don't want to say it like this, like, I don't know. There's this thing with manifesting that's so cheesy to some people or it's very like, like sagey and I, don't, mm, yeah. I, I think there's something really practical about you know manifesting as well and there's some like through word through just being through energy yeah. so i want to yeah. like bring that into the world more often yeah i think um i use the word intentional mm -hmm. because it it destigmatizes it you know what i mean because yes, when definitely. you're intentional about something that's just like it's your path you know exactly. what i mean so people don't get to attach something to the word it's exactly just, it's direction it's strategy it's everything it's it can be anything you want it to be exactly. but i yeah manifestation is everything exactly I'm with you. exactly so i'm super excited for that and that's saturday mm -hmm. so we're going to get right. that going and then after that light work starts to like you know evolve so there'll be more some more courses coming up and then mm -hmm. after the courses will actually be the platform where you guys can sign up and you know see everything that's going on with me so that's, that's great yeah. So, okay. The link is up there. So please, if you can join them in, in her fundraiser and see what we can do. And it's going to be fine. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So yeah. I'm already excited. Um, okay. You. So I know you had a time limit and we're a couple minutes over already, but oh, no I wanted worries. to, okay. So I wanted to check with you about what's left for 2020. What do you got going on? Like, and, and also 2021, are you planning for 2021? Is yeah, it like, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 20, 2020 itself, like shut down a lot of stuff that was supposed to happen. So mm. things got pushed back to 2021, which is totally cool. But light work is for the rest of the year. So you'll see a lot mm. more courses coming up on my page. I don't want to call them courses. I want to call them like, you know, programs or something like that. I'm still trying to find mm. the word, but you'll you'll see some workshops coming up. Um, and then in 2021, we have a new album coming out, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited about um, with some brand new music that I'm producing. Um, mm -hmm. And I haven't produced in ever time. I mean, I produce, but it's very quiet and seldom. But I decided like, mm -hmm. this is the time for me to start producing because I want to bring out my own sound. So here mm -hmm. we are. Um, Great. So 2021, get ready. Latasha 2021 okay. is coming. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Sign us up. We are in. Okay. So before we let you go, um, there are two questions we like to ask. First sure. of all, is there anything that we missed talking about before I go down this path? Is there anything else that you want to? No, I think we got it all. We spoke about okay. a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot in a little period of time, yeah. but we, we'll have you back. I'm sure. Okay. So what two questions, what 
if someone's just getting into your catalog, obviously we spent a lot of time talking about Go Go Wine mm -hmm. and who I who you who, who I, I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, who I am. Sorry, Shelly, the other artist that we that I work with, uh, she wrote the song "Who You Are." And okay. We were leave, she also wrote "Bitch" and "What a Girl Wants" and all the other things. And uh -huh. I was like, I never heard this song, and I kept calling it "Who I Am." And she's yeah. like, It's not who I am. It's, it's who not, you are. It's who you are. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so you're who I am. Yes. And go go wine a lot. But mm -hmm. is there if if someone's just like coming in and like going to push click on any of your songs or whatever, what is one that they should definitely not miss? Or the one that you're most proud of, I guess. I guess I, oh, I'm proud of all my music. I know. I They're like all my kids. Um, what's your favorite lyric or like, where, like, what's the one that they should do? Like, don't miss this one song. I mean, don't miss any of the songs. <laughs> don't miss anything. But I would Duly say, noted. Um, if you re if you want to start like somewhere, I would say start at um, Go Go Wine and Who I Am. Like those two are really okay. where I'm at right now. So yeah. you would want those songs. And then if you want to like go after that, go to Glow Up. Glow up remix oh, yeah, my one. joint too. So um yeah. that's how you would get to know me, know me. Uh, and then from uh, there, you know, just keep going in the catalog. There's a lot in there. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> and I might add, if you're looking for something amazing and like completely mind blowing to you, like beyond the two videos she's already shown, there's another video that she did that's the um <laughs> uprising. I mean, yeah, I obviously there's so many. Uh, uprisers. And then she did a live stream, and the whole time I was watching, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that there's two people in it. And I was like, pretty, I'm pretty sure that's her. Both and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's her. I'm like, that's fuck, that's her. You have to watch this up. We are uprisers on yeah. Instagram. You can find that. You, I mean, it's just remarkable what you've done with that. Thank so that you so much. Too. Yeah, it's on my yeah. YouTube. If you want to watch like okay. a live, it's a live performance for the census, and we are uprisers. So you can go ahead and check that out. That was really fun to do. So, yeah. you know, we're doing, really we're fun. making magic over here. That's what we're trying to yeah. do. So <laughs> it was great. I definitely felt it. I felt the magic. Okay, Thank the you. last question for you is, what is one song that you wish you had written? Oh, there's so many, but I <laughs> I think Scream by Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson is like one of my all time oh, favorite records. Such it's oh. such a good song. And every time uh. I hear it, I'm like, this song is something that I wish I wrote myself and just could perform anywhere I go. But Scream, mm -hmm. and for a current song, because I'll give you two. I'll give you like a past song and a current song. The current song, I really love Doja Cat's I, um, I Like This, I think it's called, or mm -hmm. I Like That. I play it all the time, and me and my boyfriend are always like dancing to it. So I'm like, <laughs> this is supposed to be my song, I think, maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> That's cool. That's a good one. But I love that That's a great too. one. Yeah. Good, very good choices, both of them. So they're so all much. so different. I love it. Yeah, I know. Right. Well, so obviously, I know we're going to let you go, but please come back anytime we, you, you're doing anything at all. We would love to have you. Thank You've you. been a joy. It's Thank been you. so fun working with you. Thank Check out her music. Everything that she's put out so far has just been such a huge. It's just been so much fun. There's so much energy around you. So Thank you we're, so much. we're really grateful. Thank yeah, you absolutely. so much. I'm so grateful yeah. for you. You've been such a such a joy to work with, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I can't I can't take credit. It's not just me, but I am really I'm so thankful to finally you know get to work with someone who's bringing so much to the table. It's just Thank wonderful. You. Thank You're you. You're doing a great job. So Thank keep you. doing you I and will. come back, check in. We'll have you back again, <laughs> and we'll right. talk soon. All right. And for the rest of you, please. Please come back next week. We'll be back with Lindsay Compton, who's equally as fierce. And yes. she's been super fun doing some great stuff. And then we'll see you on the flip side. Don't forget to register to vote. Do that. <laughs> Don't forget. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Take Natasha. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Stick around. We'll be here.